Well, you may remember Rick Woodbury and his infamous Tango car. He created the small electric car here in Spokane as a way to decrease commute times in busy areas. But it's been a while since we've seen or heard about any of these cars. So Crem 2's Shana Walltower went to check in with the creator. Well, who knew that it takes so much to build a car? Well, from making the car to getting funding for it to even having to change some state laws, it takes a lot to get these little guys out on the road. You may have seen this car around town. It's supposed to be a cure to traffic throughout the world. It's the Tango T600, and Rick Woodbury and his son created the first prototype in 1998. But they developed the idea enough that actor George Clooney bought one in 2005. Well, it's been over 10 years since then. Why aren't we seeing more of them on the roads by now? Well, funding is the biggest obstacle. All of these cars, if you average the cost of $5 million spent over 20 years, it costs $420,000 each to build these cars. So far, he's made a total of 12 of them. He's been working with a lot of private customers, but says his main goal is to get interest from larger companies, since a higher demand means more funding, and that then means the cost of the cars can decrease. Part of raising money is to get um, companies convinced that uh, that we have a market. And there has to be enough of these cars out on the road to understand how well they're performing. But even if there's money in place, the cars can only be as beneficial as laws will allow them. For example, in Spokane, it's illegal to park perpendicularly in a parallel parking spot, even though Woodbury says you can fit four Tangos in one spot. So he's been working with lawmakers on changing some of that legislation. So a lot of my work goes into kind of lobbying or trying to get those bills passed. He's also been working on some technical upgrades like increasing how far these cars can go before they need to be recharged. So he's made customized battery packs based off of a design from Tesla vehicles. It's taken me the last two years just to develop a battery pack that would go 300 miles. I just never realized it would be as difficult as it is. So while there may not be many more tangos on the roads now, Woodbury's been doing most of his work behind the scenes. There's been a lot of excitement but it takes an awful lot of effort to change something so big. I mean, it takes so much money and it's such a big thinking, you know, it's such a, a large idea. But seeing millions of tangos on busy roads all across the U.S. is something he won't stop working toward. To me, it doesn't scare me. It just seems like a logical thing. I mean, it, you never know who's going to change the world. But anyway, this is my attempt. In Spokane, Shana Walltower, Crime 2 News.